Superfood is a black comedy action film starring Liam Neeson, Lauren Dern, and Rawson. And it is a remake of a Norwegian vigilante film in order of disappearance. This is directed by the same guy who directed this movie. And what basically here is Neil Coxman's quiet life as a snow plow driver comes crashing down when he finds out his beloved son dies under mysterious circumstances. His search for the truth becomes a quest for revenge against a psychotic drug lord named Viking and his sleazy henchmen. Transformed from upstanding citizen to cold-blooded vigilante, Coxman unwittingly sets off a chain of events that includes kidnapping, a sense of deadly misunderstandings, and a tough war between Viking and a rival boss. This movie is definitely one of the more surprising films of the year. I saw a trailer, it looked very whatever, but it had Liam Neeson in it, and Liam Neeson is one of my favorite actors, and I know there was a controversy going on with him before this movie came out, but I don't really care about the controversy with that. As I said with my review of Captain Marvel, I don't care about controversy as long as the actors are good. But people, we have to learn to separate the, the art from the artists. And that's what I, I do. When it comes to actors, it has a lot of controversy. Whether it's Kevin Spacey or Brie Larson or Liam Neeson. And I must say, Liam Neeson is really great in this movie. He's very funny. He's a very, He still has his awesome badassery that... He's, and he still proves why he is a good ash star. As far as the camera work and direction, it does go into a very odd directions that you normally wouldn't expect it to go, especially for an action film with comedy. And the humor is very hilarious here. I found myself laughing a lot. And I like the story of a driver staying out to get revenge against drug lords for killing family members. Because if it was one of your own, you would go that length to, to basically get justice for the murder and the loss of your own loved ones. Everyone else in the movie as far as acting goes, it's really great. Tom Bateman, Tom Jackson, Julia Jones, um, Laura Dern, of course, and of course you have the lovely Amy Rawson. They are all really great. The cinematography and the music and the editing is also really top notch here. So I definitely have to say you did a job with that. And you pretty much did a job with that. My only gripes here is that the movie is, does overstay its welcome a little bit. Just a little bit. You could have easily shortened the pacing or cut out a little unnecessary parts. But all in all, Cold Pursuit is definitely one of the more surprising movies of the year. I really like Cold Pursuit. I will give Cold Pursuit a highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comments. Be sure to follow my social media links in the description box down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more epitasticness. I'm Joshua from Future Film Three Nine Four Zero Reviews. You guys keep cool, enjoying the epitaxis.